All right, now as promised yesterday, I want to talk a little bit more about this power amplifier I made for guitar. So this is a class A amplifier. I used a relatively cheap module from AliExpress. It's based off a uh, uh, John Lindsay Hood, a JLH 1969 um, amp uh, schematic. And what's great about this one, it's gonna give you about seven watts class A. Uh, you'll notice that I put it in like a little project box uh, and I also attached a heat fin uh, and it's allowed to radiate uh, into the air freely, which is important because Class A gets quite hot. Uh, whenever you're doing these guitar power amp modules, whether it's Class D, Class AB, um, you know, I look for modules I can power with a uh, supply, like just a regular laptop power supply right there. Like it's 24, uh, 24 volts uh, at 4 amps, you know, um, and... Uh, uh, what's great about all the modules, the Class AB one that I do, that's the TDA2050 or the TPA3118 or 3116, uh, is that they can all use that same 24-volt uh, uh, power supply. Uh, the other thing I've chosen to do deliberately with this project is that there's no buffer circuit. Uh, and I think that's really important. We live in a golden age of guitar pedals and equipment, uh, but I haven't quite seen uh, just sort of a uh, mini... Uh, power amps if you will like the size of this unit uh, is quite small I think for class A I mean just here's a guitar pedal uh, just for comparison uh, you know it's two guitar pedals um, and that makes it quite uh, easy to tote around uh, it gives a wonderful class A sound which I'll demonstrate in a minute uh, the other thing too is that because uh, like I was saying we live in a golden age of pedals there's all sorts of buffer pedals boost pedals I highly recommend using a buffer or a boost uh, before you go into the power amp. Um, you're going to find it's much like going into a uh, power amp, uh, on, like into your effects loop on your amp uh, or the effects uh, return, uh, but usually those are buffered. Uh, so in this case, uh, you'll want to use a pedal, like for example, this has a built-in boost, uh, the full moon distortion, uh, which acts as a buffer. Uh, or I could just use a, a JFET buffer pedal. I, I built one myself for... Uh, uh, Mosky makes a deck uh, deck buffer boost that's a copy of the Wampler one. In any event, there's all sorts of tri op amp ones, germanium ones, JFET ones, cheap ones, expensive ones. You know, I think that's sort of the fun of, of doing something a project like this is you get to experiment. Um, all right, now I'm going to fire this sucker up. Here we go. <laughs> Okay, and you'll notice now the indicator. I have a built a switch in my project box. The indicator light came on, and uh, and now I'm gonna fire it up with the uh, using the Fender Full Moon Distortion, and uh, away we go. Pickup, it's a uh, humbucker, a mini humbucker. Mm -hmm. 